Hello and welcome to this year's Golden Apple Awards. I'm Phil, the Union President at the Students' Union and I'll be giving a short introduction to get us started. As you can see from my backdrop, the length of my hair and your computer screen, things are a bit different this year. Due to obvious reasons, we can't hold our usual award ceremony. However, during these uncertain and pressing times, we believe that the Golden Apple Awards are more important than ever. We know it's not been easy adjusting to a new way of working, but the Golden Apples have always been a great way to showcase the good work that many Canterbury Christchurch University staff do for their students. In total, we have had 1,374 nominations for members of staff at Christchurch, which is a record for the Golden Apples. This year, we're introducing completely new categories and focusing on hashtag remote learning to reward academic support staff who exhibit exceptional teaching and support standards in these hashtag CCCU virtual campus days. So please comment, like and show your appreciation on the video as we know that all staff appreciate these awards and that their students value the work they do. I'll now hand over to Becky Thompson to announce the first category. Hi, I'm Becky, President of Development. I've been at the university for four years and it's, this is a unique opportunity to present awards to some of the most inspiring and supportive staff members I've had the privilege to know. This category is perhaps the most relevant to our current situation and one which I've personally experienced and can attest the importance to your university career. A great lecturer is someone who supports you when things go right and is there as the voice of reason when things don't quite go to plan. This is the category for the most calm in a crisis. We've had 211 nominations for this category and here are the nominees. And now for the results. And the runner up is Ivan Kovac. And the winner for Most Calm in a Crisis is Belinda Siesma. Hi, I'm Nami, a student on the uh, MSc Psychology Conversion course at Canterbury Christchurch University. And I am nominating Belinda Siesma for Calm in a Crisis. Um, I would like Belinda to receive a Golden Apple Award because she seems to be holding the programme together at the moment. There have been staff changes and obviously a lot of uncertainty around the impact of this pandemic and lockdown on our learning. And Belinda has been consistently calm, appears to be in control, um, responds to all of our queries promptly um, and is given all the additional support that we need at the moment. Belinda is my personal tutor as well as the programme director, so I can sort of see it from both sides. And I'd just like to say a massive, massive, massive thanks to Belinda because it's made all the difference. And I think it's helping us get through the rest of the course at this very difficult time. So thanks a lot. Bye. Thank you to all of the nominees and especially Belinda, who's been a phenomenal supervisor throughout my university career and has most definitely been the calmest of us both at certain points. Hi everyone, I'm Jamie, I'm the President of Wellbeing here at the Student Union and I'm here today to give out some awards on the Guff of the Golden Apples. So the first award I'm here to announce is the most reliable to online availability. We had a total of 290 nominations in this category uh, and here are the nominees for your award. Okay, and now for the results for most reliable online availability. So in runners up, we have Sarah Spencer. So congratulations to you. Uh, and the winner is Christy House. So well done, Christy. Uh, and now we're going to move on to the next award, which is Best Online Lecture. My name is Chloe Willoway and I'm the Christchurch Students Union President of Sports and Engagement. Mm -hmm. 
So the next award for best online lecture, we had 136 nominations and here are your nominees. And here are the results. So your runner up goes to Graham Birrell. So congratulations, Graham. And then the winner of best online lecture is Claire Street. So congratulations, Claire. And the next award is most dedicated to students learning. Hi everyone, so we now move on to most dedicated to all students learning category. This category had 335 nominations, which are the most out of any of the categories we had. And here are the nominees. Now for the results. So the runner up for most dedicated to all students learning is Peggy Riley. Well done Peggy. And the winner for most dedicated to all students learning is Rebecca Sandys. Congratulations. We now move on to best homeworking kid interrupting my lecture seminar moment. Now everyone who has children has been on an important Zoom call knows the fear of a creaking door or the abrupt halt of Paw Patrol in the next room. It's possibly followed by the pitter patter of tiny feet and a special guest star. This category is for the best homeworking kid interrupting a lecture or seminar. Again, we had 17 nominations overall. And here are the nominees for your category. And now for the results. The runner up is Christine Cork. And the winner for the best homeworking kid interrupting a lecture is Ethan Maltby. Congratulations to all of the nominees. So the next award is for best virtual seminar and for this we had 88 nominations and the nominees are And here are the results. So runner up was Dan Hubert. So congratulations, Dan. And our winner is Gail Lemoyne. So congratulations, Gail. Hello, my name is Jamie Diamond. I would like to nominate Gail Lemoyne. Um, just basically she's Brilliant, very, she's very gifted. Um, so basically around about Christmas time, um, she lost a member of staff who got a job in a different department. Um, a member of staff went off ill 
and another member of staff in child nursing went off because she was pregnant um and with this corona virus and all of that she had quite a lot on her plate um so that's why i think i should nominate her i think she's doing really well i bet she's super stressed <laughs> but she's um a bit of a w- i don't really know i don't know how she's doing it but um she's just one of them people who would do it um so that's why i'd like to nominate her Hi everyone, so here for the next award for the Golden Apples. This one is for innovative use of the video chat. So in total we had 94 nominations and here are the list of all the nominees for this award. Okay, and now the results for initial use of video chat. So I'm runners up, we have Paul Anson. So well done to Paul, well done. Well done. Uh, and the winner of the initial use of the video chat this year is Christina Samalade. So well done to you, Christina. Uh, for now, we're moving on to the next award, which is Most Humour in Delivering Online Content. This category is for Most Humour when Delivering Online Content, and for this we got 143 nominations, and the nominees are... And the results are for runner up, it goes to Martin O'Neill. So, congratulations, Martin. And our winner of this category is Andrew Palmer. So, congratulations, Andrew. So, my nomination for the 2020 um, slash 2019 Golden Apple Award goes to Dr. Andrew Palmer. Um, mainly due to his dedication he's shown, obviously, going through the, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic and just how he's handled it so calmly and coolly with, obviously, little spices of humour here and there and just um, getting these online seminars and lectures running for us. And, um, yeah, I think, I think it's extremely rare to find a member of staff so dedicated, especially to their students and time in a time like this. And... It's just completely outstanding the way everything's everything's gone so smoothly. His dedication to one-to-one tuitions um, throughout the year, throughout the semester two particularly, and just the knowledge he shows and the passion he gives on each subject he, he teaches and lectures. So, um, yeah, there's my nomination. Thank you very much, Andrew, and I hope to see you next year. Not everything goes to plan, and during COVID, we've seen some incredible innovation and alternatives. This category is for the best emergency alternative assessment planning. Again, we had 103 nominations overall, and here are the nominees for your category. And now for the results. The runner-up is Chris Price. And the winner for the best emergency alternative assessment is Graham Jones. A huge congratulations to all of the nominees.
Hi everyone. Okay, now moving on to the last award of this evening. This one is the best home working pet experience, uh, and this had a total of 28 nominations. Okay, and here are your nominees for this award. Okay, now we move on to the results for best home working pet appearance. We had two runners up this year because we couldn't decide between you. They are Helen Frost and Lily, and Kate McLean and Boston Labradoodle. So well done to you two. And then we move on to the winner. This year, winner for best home working pet appearance was Ash Hansen and Cinnamon. So well done. Thank you to all the nominees and the winners, but more importantly, the students for submitting their nominations. It's so important to recognise the academic support staff who exhibit exceptional te teaching and support standards with particularly inspiring within their field. I'll be taking over the role as union president for the next academic year, and I'm really looking forward to working with you all and seeing what inspiring teaching you bring in September. Thank you.